G'day, it's Damned here from the Fantasy Grounds community. I've been working on the low fantasy gaming rule set extension for Fantasy Grounds. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a character. Steve from Pickpocket Press, the designer of the game, has allowed us to convert the, his free PDF product into a full Fantasy Grounds module and it'll make your gaming so much easier. So let's get started. I've connected to the GM's instance and I'm going to click on create a new character. It takes a couple of seconds to load because it's going to pre-populate the character sheet with a whole bunch of information. We're going to start off naming the character and we're going to make ourselves a barbarian today. Now the standard rules for creating a new character say that you can assign one stat 15 and then roll 4d6 drop the lowest for the other stats. So I'm just going to do a little macro to roll the 4d6 and drop one and then do that six times. Once I've got those stats, I can either just type them in to the character sheet or I can actually just drag them over. And when I do that, you'll see that the modifiers will automatically calculate. What you'll also find later on is that when you roll, do make these rolls, they will also calculate the terrible failures and great successes and failures. going to open up the library and you can see in here this is a sample of some of the material that you will get uh, when you download this from the Fantasy Grounds forums. Uh, big shout out to Steve for allowing us to do this and uh, I hope uh, you get to make good use of it. What we're going to do now is open up roles and we're going to which building a barbarian so open up the barbarian tab. The first thing you'll do is copy in the class barbarian onto the character sheet and this will give us a whole bunch of information on what other things this barbarian gets. We're going to follow this through as we build our barbarian. So we're going to start with our hit points. The barbarian gets 1d6 plus 6 plus the constitution bonus. So we're going to get ourselves a 14 for this character. Next thing, we'll skip over the equipment allowed and we'll drop down to the skills and we'll add in our default skills of animal law and wilderness law. And then we can choose four more skills. Now you add a single point, a single skill point into those skills that you are selecting. And once you've finished selecting those skills, there's a little checkbox right at the top of the frame. And when you tick that, it will hide the skills that you don't have any skill ranks in. Next thing here, we've got a Barbarian pack. You can drag this straight into your inventory and it will apply the bulk of the standard equipment into your character sheet. Opening up the plus item at the top of the page and it will also show us the extra items that we need to do. Open up items, scroll down to ranged weapons and we'll select a short bow and we'll drag that into the character sheet. So we're now going to go back to our instructions and we're going to add ourselves a weapon. So we'll put the heavy hammer, which is the heavy hammer, and we'll add that into our inventory. And then we'll go back to the front sheet and we'll just set up the scores for that. The heavy hammer is 1d8 damage. So we'll stick that in our damage field. Go to the armor and shields, then drag in a chainmail, and roll 1d6 for gold. We'll write that into character sheet. Four pieces of gold left over after buying the pack. And we're done with that. Now we'll add in our chain shirt, gives us three armor class, and our dexterity of 14 gives us a plus one. So we add those values in and use in and you can see the armor class automatically calculates to 14. We adjust our melee damage to 1d8 for the heavy hammer. And when I roll the attack, it's doing 11 plus 1. Which again, it's not quite right because we haven't added the attack bonus in. Put the attack bonus in. Attack bonus doesn't apply to damage, but 
strength modifier applies to melee damage. So I've got 1d8 plus 1 for my strength bonus. My melee attack gets a plus 2. That's a plus 1 for my attack bonus and a plus 1 for my strength. My ranged damage has no extra modifier and my ranged attack has a plus 1 modifier from dex and a plus 1 modifier from my attack bonus. Let's go back to our Barbarian class. Okay, so we'll do a couple of rolls from the attributes. Just testing these out, you can see uh, it's a roll under mechanism. When you roll, when you roll under your attribute score, it's a success. And if you roll under half of your attribute, it's a great success. If you roll over, it's a fail. And if you roll more than one and a half times, or if you roll a natural 20, it's a terrible failure. Some other special roles on here, we've got an initiative roll, which will adjust your initiative order in the combat tracker, and the death save if your character is reduced to zero hit points. Okay, Our Barbarian also gets a couple of abilities at first level, the first one being Ferocious Rage, we'll drag that onto the character sheet, and the second one is the Wilderness Ranger. Now these vary a little bit in the Deluxe Guide, so you can update these. We've got permission to share the free PDF. Uh, you guys will be able to add your own data in to use the deluxe guide. Chainmail gives us a minus two penalty on certain checks. So we'll just add that into the character sheet just so we've got it there. We can add it quickly when we need to. Two is the armor penalty. It's a slash mod. We'll use the formula slash mod. P1, and then we'll put tell P1 that it's a armor penalty. And then on the character sheet, we can see that quite quickly that it's a minus two, and we'll have to remember to do that when we're doing any stealth type rolls. We don't have a stealth roll on the character sheet just for the moment, so we're just going to do a random roll. We've done the minus two modifier, and We've rolled Athletics, so we got a plus one for Dex, we got a plus one for the skill, but then we also had a minus two. Um, so we got a plus one for the skill, and we had a minus two for the armor penalty, so it, total, it gave us a total target difference of minus one. And that character is pretty much complete. I hope that gives you an idea of how easy it is to set up a character in low fantasy gaming on fantasy grounds and I hope to see you guys uh, using the system out there soon and uh, I'll put out some more videos on how to use other parts of the system. Uh, thanks for playing.